Good afternoon, traders. This is Mike Yo, and it's time for today's lunchtime recap. Today, I want to talk about some of the stocks that were moving that we identified in pre-market and uh, actually intraday at the open as well. Uh, first of all, it is July 23rd, 2019. It is uh, 134 market time. So, of course, the main play of the day, um, main play as in what everyone was watching at the open was RLGY. Now, um, RLGY had a huge spike and fade, and uh, that's a great opportunity for a trade, and I'll tell you why. <clears throat> Anytime you have a really big move, unfortunately, there's going to be people uh, trying to capture that in the wrong ways. So if you see a really big spike, uh, you have to think of the herd. You know, and I say this, and I know it's not exactly pol politically correct, um, but uh, it's the truth, okay? So let's just keep it real. We have to think about what the herd is doing. And when you have a huge move, a huge spike that has retraced um, that, that big of a percentage, you're going to have people that are stuck long in that move. And you're also going to have short sellers that think that this is completely dead and, uh, you know, short it. They're going to slam the bid, smoke the bid, and short it down. Um, and uh, so that's the environment that you have when you have a big move uh, to the upside and a huge retracement back. Now, what does this do? What kind of environment does this create? Well, for starters, the longs that are underwater because of how far the stock has retraced down, the longs that are underwater won out, okay? So in this situation, a lot of them are just, they've gone from being eager to buy the dip to regretting that they bought the dip to looking for any way that they can, I mean, a profit at this point is probably, they know it's unlikely. So they're looking to either recoup some of their loss and sell for a smaller loss or at best case scenario, sell for break even, right? So you can look at volume to help guide you, but basically in a nutshell, the pops on a stock that have retraced as deeply as this are likely going to be sold into. And that's because longs know, and they're all waiting for it at the open, longs know this is probably the last chance I'm going to get to get bailed out. Now, let's talk about the other side of the trade. You have shorts that have been shorting this all the way down to um, 620 area. I mean, uh, no one probably bottom six the short, but who, who knows? You know, they uh, no matter what you're using as a guide, moving averages, VWAP, um, they were shorting all the way down. And... Um, when the stock stops fading and starts grinding, short sellers are going to want to get out, okay? They're going to say, hey, this is no longer fading. It's down a lot, and we need to cover and get the heck out. Now, what is that going to do? That's going to spike the stock, okay? And you saw the first minute candle. Uh, there was not a lot of um, volume on that. I think everyone was waiting and kind of using it as a guideline, the 650 area. And, um, you know, again, you have to think like the herd. People are saying, oh, I can't break 650. You know, it, it kind of breached at 655 and pre. And then we had a 651 and then 650, 650, 650. And then it faded. And people were like, okay, if it breaks 650, I'm out. And, you know, of course it broke. You see a huge volume spike here. This is actually um a lot of shorts covering and this is longs getting bailed out and uh after the longs are bailed out after the shorts have covered um you know you can kind of see what happened after that but basically um yeah it creates a very interesting environment and that was my um that was my idea and that was my game plan for rlgy today when in pre-market I said before the market even opened, I, uh, I believe that this is going to trap. And uh, I just told you, kind of explain what the trap actually means and how to identify it. And then, um, you know, 
Fibonacci support and resistance comes into play. So there's many things that go into the game plan, but um, you're going to need a deep understanding of um, trader psychology to be able to capitalize on these moves. And after you understand that, then you can come and use the general guidelines, support and resistance. You need volume for liquidity. You need uh, range, you know, for any kind of decent uh, profit targets or anything like that. Um, and uh, you can create that game plan. But the most important thing is to identify who is really in trouble right now and what's the most likely situation. And you have to think about yourself. What would I do? Okay, so I'm down big. You know, let's let's look at where I can be bailed out. Where's the next resistance? If Should it happen? And of course, nothing's 100%, but it's just, you know, the law of probabilities here. So um, anyway, that's all for today. I want to keep it short and sweet. I hope this has been beneficial to you guys. I hope that you like it. And uh, please comment. Let me know uh, if, if you uh, want to see more of these. So thanks and hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you soon.